or all day, or you would not believe, all week I've been waiting for day five because I wanted to give you a little taste of this. Hear what it says. It says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And for, for the week, I've been thinking, why put that there? Because remember, he's, he brought up the hereditary factor. Then he brought up the, 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 the gift that he ought to steal. And then he says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. It seems to indicate that based on what God had laid his hand for Timothy to do, he was now beginning to have challenges and struggles, mainly, I think, because of the persecution, mainly because of the press around him. He was beginning to think he could give half of a loaf instead of all of his life. Now Paul says, God did not give you a spirit of fear. God did not give you a spirit of fear. God did not give you a spirit of fear. God did not give you a spirit of fear. Therefore, fear of failure and fear of being persecuted for a stand you will make that is unpopular and unfavorable. You don't have to fear. You could stand. You could stand in the storm and make the statement because God did not give you the spirit of fear. But hear what he gave to you, love. So you could love people in the midst of the struggle. He's given you power. Mm, Jesus. Hey, he's given you power. That means you can execute in the midst of the challenge. And then he says, He's given you a sound mind, Lord Jesus, clear thought, a purpose, intention, will to do the will of God. He's given you all of that. Then why should we be afraid? What David said in the Psalms, though, though an arrow, though he will not fear the arrow that flyeth by night, nor the and you get the picture that in the midst of danger, we could stand without fear, without feeling intimidated by the circumstance, we could stand. And in the stance, we honor God. So yes, God did not give you a spirit of fear. This week, this weekend, next week, stand. Stand firm, stand sure, stand doing the will of God. God bless you.